Now, when it comes to mass appeal, of course, there are some fragrances that are so mass appealing, you never have to think about the circumstances, the season, the time, the place. They just smell good. Some of them smell very well-groomed, like you just came out of the shower. Of course, some of them are geared towards the summer, so in some way, you do have to think about the season. But generally speaking, these are 10 of the most mass appealing fragrances in my collection. I'm excited to share this list with you in just a second, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on these 10 mass appealing fragrances, they all have their own individual charm to them. I'll tell you why I enjoy them so much. I wanna start the video off first by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, reviews, top 10s, giveaways, unboxings, special guests, and more, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it, hit the bell, and give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It would really, really, really mean a lot to me. Let's go ahead and start the list with one that is my wife's favorite. This one by the brand Nautica is Nautica Voyage. Of course, this is the more recent formulation. You can see it has the plastic cap. I do have the older formulation as well. This one has a really unique note breakdown. People say it smells clean. It smells like dryer sheets. The perfumer is Maurice Roussel, and just smelling it now, it smells wonderful. It's a really, really awesome fragrance, and I personally love wearing this one, especially in the summertime. Great for when you're lounging around the house, being casual, running errands. I just really, really love Nautica Voyage. Of course, Bleu de Chanel gets a lot of praise as it's done throughout the years because, of course, it has that grapefruit incense combination but it smells very elegant, very professional, great for a dressed up situation. But if you wanna wear it casually as well, it's a great office fragrance. A lot of grapefruit, some incense, it has a darker personality, much darker than Nautica Voyage, of course. But if you're going for something inexpensive, I think Nautica Voyage is gonna run you at least, last time I checked, it was like 15, 20 bucks. So check online for Nautica Voyage. If you don't already own it, I'm gonna leave all of the links down below just to make it easier for you guys. Blue de Chanel, really clean, really professional. Of course, there's also Prada Lunarosa. This is the original. Of course, there's Prada Lunarosa Carbon. There's a lot of flankers, right? But this is the original, and this is just like a really clean, musky iris. Iris is a type of flower that sometimes smells like lipstick. Sometimes it just smells very smooth, very clean. It has a very elegant personality. I love wearing Luna Rosa. I actually used to wear it to work a lot, especially there was a, a chunk of time when I was really in the mood to wear it, and I wore it quite often, believe me. How can we make this list without Aqua, Aqua Dijon? <laughs> this is one of the most mass appealing fragrances. Versatility, I don't know. This is actually the Eau de Parfum. So this one is a, a bit of a better performer than the Eau de Toilette, um, which was composed by Alberto Morias. This one as well, fantastic perfumer. This one is gonna give you slightly better performance. And the thing about this one as well is that it's a little heavier. So if you wanna wear this one when it gets slightly colder out, you can. The original has been reformulated. I'm sure you've heard people talking about the reformulations and how they're quite upset about that. Of course, we also have Myself by Yves Saint Laurent. This is one of the newest releases on the market. I think Yves Saint Laurent did an amazing job with this one. Of course, is it gonna be the most unique fragrance on the market? No, it's not. Is it gonna be the most intriguing, the most alluring fragrance on the market? No but it's a Swiss army knife, it's a compliment getter, it has the mass appeal, it has that modern contemporary aromatic vibe, and this one is gonna be a really good contender to Dior Sauvage. Now, it doesn't smell similar to Dior Sauvage, can be worn in the same occasions, and it's funny, I didn't include Dior Sauvage in this list because Dior Sauvage has that bright ambroxany metallic vibe. In the opening, a lot of people feel as though it has a bit of a metallic presence. So believe it or not, it's not as mass appealing as some people say it is, but I get a ton of compliments with Dior Sauvage. But because of that criticism that I do recall seeing online, I decided to not include it in this list. Of course, we also have Mont Blanc Legend. This one is basically an overdose of lavender and citrus. It smells like Abercrombie and Fitch's Fierce. It's the designer version of Percival by Parfum de Marly. Super mass appealing. Nobody's ever gonna look in the other direction when you're wearing this one. Nobody's gonna be offended by what you're wearing. It smells amazing. 
Of course, we also have Gucci Guilty. I think this one was composed by Jacques Couclier, who is the same individual that did Angel for Men by Thierry Mugler. This fragrance, it's gonna have that bright citrus in here. It has a bit of a floral personality in the heart, but huge compliment getter, super mass appealing. I also really enjoy wearing a Gucci Guilty Black, which is in a green bottle, surprisingly. It's black and green. It has a really nice aesthetic to it, but the original, as much as people find it to be boring and played out and generic and whatever else, it has the mass appeal. So you can't go wrong. The ladies love all of these fragrances if that's what you're looking for, of course. We also have a huge, huge, huge compliment getter. Probably the biggest compliment getter on this entire list, Mont Blanc Explorer. So we have a couple Mont Blanc fragrances in this list. Of course, this one, pineapple, apple, vanilla, it's the designer version of Creed Aventus. Creed Aventus is like the most complimented niche fragrance ever. <laughs> so here you have the designer counterpart to that. Of course, in the number two spot, I was thinking of one that gets a lot of compliments and the original is mass appealing enough. This flanker has even more of a mass appeal, but it's a bit lighter, a bit fresher. Coach Blue. So the original Coach for Men smells like Dior Sauvage. It has that bright citrusy aquatic vibe. This one, a lot more heavy handed on the citrus. So this one is actually, and it just smells wonderful. You can't go wrong with this. Fantastic overdose of citrus. And of course, in the number one spot, I'm looking on my shelves here and I'm like, that has to be one of the most mass appealing fragrances ever. It's been around for such a long time. You can't go wrong when you wear this stuff. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Who doesn't have experience with light blue? Drop your comments below right now. <laughs> Do you own a bottle of light blue presently? I wanna see how many people actually own a bottle of this still or used to own a bottle. This stuff is awesome, right? Light blue, it's aquatic, it's fresh, it's citrusy. It's so darn good. And I wanna spray it in the air because I haven't worn this one in a few months. <sighs> yeah, you can't go wrong with this stuff. Bright, citrusy you have this sort of mineral-like quality to it. It has that oceanic element to it. Light Blue is one of the most mass appealing fragrances ever. Links for all of these are gonna be down below. And of course, you can't go wrong with any of these. If you're just looking to gift a bottle of fragrance to a loved one, maybe it's a birthday or a special occasion or an anniversary or graduation gift or whatever it is, right? Back to school, even. These are great, great fragrances suitable for that mass appealing designer fragrances. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you took something of value from today's episode. If you did, please do consider supporting the channel. It's absolutely free. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys and we'll see you tomorrow with a new video. Bye.